Even with our best efforts, retrenchments will be inevitable. As our labour movement puts it, we cannot protect every job, but we will protect every worker. For those of you who have fallen in hard times, we'll continue to support you and walk this journey with you. The government will continue to work closely with our tripartite partners to help our displaced workers. We are updating the tripartite advisory on managing excess manpower and responsible retrenchment to incorporate the fair retrenchment framework proposed by NTUC. The NTUC's Job Security Council, which was set up earlier this year, has matched more than 20,000 displaced and at-risk workers to new opportunities. I will also extend the COVID-19 Support Grant, or CSG, to help Singaporeans who are unemployed or have suffered significant income loss. The CSG was introduced in May to complement our ComCare scheme in these extraordinary times. More than 60,000 residents have benefited, with more than $90 million dispersed so far. I will extend the CSG to December 2020. From 1st October 2020, the extension will be open to both existing CSG recipients and new applicants. To qualify, unemployed applicants must demonstrate job search or training efforts. The Ministry of Social and Family Development will share more details in early September. Our labour market is likely to remain weak beyond 2020. We are studying how to continue supporting employees and self-employed persons who are most vulnerable. Another group we must look out for is low-wage workers. Many of them are essential workers who have kept Singapore going during the crisis. I had earlier announced a $3,000 workfare special payment. Currently, those on a workfare income supplement scheme for work done in 2019 are eligible. I will widen the eligibility of this special payment to include those who are not on workfare last year but have received or will be receiving workfare for work done this year. The measures that I've just announced provide support for workers in all sectors of our economy aligned with the expected pace of recovery. 